Hey guys, Stag here. If you are unfamiliar with my channel, I am Stag, and on this channel I showcase the creation process of my creepy cute lowbro and gothic fantasy art, as well as ramble about smart things, things that might inspire, things that might displease me, just art things. I paint majority of the time in acrylics, like this piece here. I get asked that a lot. So I figured I should probably throw that in a few videos. So this painting is fairy number 17. Though it has been complete for quite a while, I'm finally getting around to posting it. Working through that backlog of footage. This painting is from my Fairy Creeps series, which has been sort of an ongoing art exercise. Initially it was all about eye painting and then it turned into working on various other things and then the fairies began to have little themes. I decided to do a little fish girl and because of this I naturally translated the term fairy a little more loosely with a back accessory of tentacles. In this uh, my, my old desk setup <laughs> before I got around to resurfacing it I forget how different it looked like a year ago and every time I see one of these videos in between the newer ones uh, that emulsion and splatter and everything it is just so cringy and it just kind of puts me in shock every time. But right next to this painting, you can see fairy number 16, which is half completed. Um, that one was ghost themed, and I posted that video quite a while ago. I tend to work on two at a time for some reason, but I'll finally be picking up the series again here very shortly. Um, probably after the next two paintings I've been working on. I am currently working on one with mandrakes. And after that, I'm thinking of a potential vampirish one, loosely themed for Valentine's Day, for the Bad Apple Artist Art Bad Apple Artist Collective Auction. I messed that up. <laughs> you can find previews of those on my Instagram. So, back to this painting. If you don't know much about me and haven't seen my streams and heard my rambles. You might not know I have certain interests you can probably pick up on with like little snippets of info here and there. I am a horror enthusiast. I mostly watch just horror movies. I love short stories and anthologies. Um, if the stories suck, you haven't invested that much time. If they're great, they get to the point in a timely fashion, unlike I am. I adore me some creepy pastas on occasion. Granted, I have certain themes and elements within these I prefer. When it comes to movies, sometimes I don't care about the story as long as the visuals are on par with stuff that I like. Um, I like things that are dark and creepy and beautiful. I've always kind of been like that. When uh, the movie Cell came out, I hated the movie, but I liked the part when they're in the killer's head and the stuff was artful and surreal, particularly a scene with a girl sitting inanimately with uh, some deer and a forest diorama. Sometimes I just kind of like that detached element. Oh yeah. And like a Sidious. Insidious. I really like the visuals in the house when they're doing the out of body experience thing. Like I just haunting and nice. And Silent Hill. Um, when the siren goes off. I know I have talked about this before, but when I was painting wallpaper, but I love textures. I love peeling wallpaper, rust, and dilapidation. I like stuff that is dark and haunting and maybe fairy tale in nature. I like some of the work by Guillermo del Toro, who I feel explored that pretty well in some of his movies, that have like maybe a child element to play against the darkness, the whole innocence and darkness. Like, I something I like personally and I explore that element a lot within my art. I like things that have an unrelenting force that doesn't need a reason nor explanation on a broader scale of humans can be really quite insignificant. So finally I've reached the epitome of these rambles and I am a big fan of Lovecraft. So I had a little fishman on the brain of this painting. That Lovecraftian storytelling and that cosmic horror if anyone out there is a Lovecraft fan and maybe likes anime or manga, I would highly suggest Jinji Ito's work. I have heard him compared to Lovecraft over the years, 
though really different elements, I can see where one might get that. I love his art style too, he can draw both beauty and grotesque well. I picked up a DVD from Blockbuster in my early teens and it was Uzumaki. I ended up, it ended up being my favorite movie for so long. Um, it wasn't until years later I had finally read the manga and I was, I was floored. Like there was so much that wasn't in the movie that they just like hit it at and I, I've been a fan ever since. I know not everyone is in the horror. You either like it or you don't, but since it is an influence of mine, I felt the need to ramble my screechings at you. I do have a habit of collecting a lot of stray people to me with similar interests based off an element in my art, or me, or whatever. Granted, there are a lot of things in my art, and sometimes people might even just be muting me and watching just because they want to learn to paint. So I really wanted to stay caught up on videos. Well, get caught up. And that didn't really seem to happen. I always seem to have some kind of roadblocks that ahead of me every time. I'm like, all fired up and ready to do all the things. Going forward, my channel will not be monetized for now. That, that word everyone is so freaking sick of hearing, including myself. I just don't care. Um, I don't make any money from YouTube. Art is what I do as a career. I will paint regardless and share these musings. At the moment, there's a lot of things kind of going on in my life that are preventing me from being particularly productive across the board. Um, I'm hoping to get back to some normalcy as soon as possible. But if you follow the channel for any bit of a time, I am whimsical. I never was a serious YouTuber. I don't have a post schedule. I, I just don't care. I am an artist. I am not a YouTuber. But I will still continue to make videos at some point. They will be more frequently again. If this does not bother you, join me on this whimsical journey of random postings. And finally guys, thank you for watching. You can find me on the social medias. Those links are in the description. I am mostly active on Instagram. You can find me streaming live to Twitch on occasions. Currently earlier in the day than I am used to because of certain limitations. You can also find my paintings, prints, oracle deck stickers, pins, patches, and a medley of art goods on my website as well. Lowbrowmisfits.com You can also find my coloring book series on Amazon as well. So, bye!